plate Durham's remarkable turnaround 249 catch up with the latest from the county championship as Durham produce an exhilarating comeback while not and Sussex also win impressively 249 3 a.m. at Durham 184 Clark 64 Griffiths 4 to 34 and 403 Markram 94 Steele 86 Smith 74 Griffiths 6 to 49 beat Leicestershire 440 Cosgrove 75, Horton 75, Carberry 73, Dexter 70, Asterisk and 101, Whale 7 to 32. Scorecard: James Whale produced a stunning match-winning spell of 7 for 32 to inspire Durham to a 46-run win over Leicestershire in their Specsavers County Championship contests, triumphing for the first time after following on. Whale was the star with both bat and ball as he made a valuable 38 runs after the home side collapsed from a strong position after lunch following a brilliant spell of bowling from Gavin Griffiths. Durham set the visitors of target of 148 runs to win, although Chris Rushworth made early in Rhodes, taking three wickets to send the nerves jangling. Rushworth was forced off with an injury, but Whale took center stage as he toured through Leicestershire's batting lineup, claiming career best figures, I think from the end of day two to get anything out of the game we needed two or three guys to be pretty exceptional, John Lewis, the Durham head coach, said. There were a couple with the bat to start with. There was some good stuff from the top three. James Whale's efforts with the ball today were truly outstanding, once we got above 120 I thought, well at least there'll be a chance, and they just scraped it to 145 to 150. Just know a side that's gone so long without winning that if you can just shake the foundations a touch they might start to see some demons and they might cause a little bit of their own downfall, Paul Nixon, the Leicestershire coach, said, the guys are disappointed, they spoke honestly and passionately. It's an amazing game, it's amazing what's happened across the country. Essex will be the same, they bowled out Yorkshire for 50 and they would have though they wouldn't lose that game. We're the same one poor session has cost us massively, the home side made a solid start to the day as Will Smith notched his 50 in the second over with two boundaries off Ben Rain. Smythe combined with Cameron Steele for a century partnership as the opener continued his solid work from day three. However, Steele was prevented from reaching three figures, falling for 86 LBW to Rain. Graham Clark looked comfortable, building on his performance in the first innings, although he was dismissed just before lunch for 25, Durham were in a decent position with a lead of 67 when the afternoon session began. Griffith's emergence in the attack would swing the game in the visitors' favor, producing a brilliant spell to rip through the host's middle order. Smith was the first to go for 74 as he played a loose drive. Neil Dexter parried the first attempt of a catch into the air but was able to acrobatically snag it second time around. Michael Richardson and Paul Collingwood followed in a similar fashion, playing poor strokes to leave their side in peril. Griffiths was striding in with Menace and removed Stuart Pointer and Nathan Remington in successive deliveries. The 24-year-old was denied a hat-trick but his six-over run produced figures of 5-for-12, his first five-wicket haul in first-class cricket. Durham were reeling at 345-48 with a lead of 89, but Whale led laid resistance to take their advantage to 147 before he became Griffith's final victim and his 10th scalp of the match. Visitors were under pressure from the off in their chase as Rushworth removed Paul Horton for 9 along with Colin Ackerman LBW for 5. Mark Cosgrove played a poor shot to leave his side in trouble, with Whale claiming the wicket. Rushworth continued his dominating spell pinning Lewis Hill in front LBW for 5. Then Rushworth was forced to leave the field with what appeared to be a groin injury, but Whale kept up the intensity with the key scalp of Michael Carberry for 22. Ned Eckersley, who suffered an injury during Durham's innings and was unable to keep wicket, made 15 before being caught down the leg side off Whale. Neil Dexter appeared able to guide Leicestershire home, but he was removed by a beauty from Whale, which clean bowled him. The seamer was brimming with confidence and wrapped up the tail, claiming the final two wickets in successive deliveries, securing a remarkable comeback for the host.